Top 20 Computer Vision Interview Questions Question 1. What is the main purpose of convolution in CNN? A. To reduce image size and enhance features. B. To identify edges in images. C. To apply nonlinear transformations to images. D. To perform downsampling and segmentation. The correct answer is A. To reduce image size and enhance features. Convolution reduces the image's spatial dimensions while enhancing important features. Question 2. Which algorithm is commonly used for object detection? A. K means clustering. B. Faster RCNN. C. K nearest neighbors. D. Principal component analysis. The correct answer is B. Faster RCNN. Faster RCNN is widely used for fast and accurate object detection. Question 3. What is the purpose of a pooling layer in CNN? A. To reduce dimensionality and computational complexity. B. To enhance image sharpness. C. To increase the feature map size. D. To add non-linearity to the network. The correct answer is A. To reduce dimensionality and computational complexity. Pooling layers reduce dimensionality and complexity, retaining important features. Question 4. Which of these is a common loss function in image segmentation? A. Mean squared error. B. Cross entropy loss. C. Binary cross entropy. D. Huber loss. The correct answer is B. Cross entropy loss. Cross entropy loss is commonly used in classification and segmentation tasks. Question 5. What does the term overfitting mean in machine learning? A. Model performs poorly on training data. B. Model generalizes well on new data. C. Model performs exceptionally well on training data. D. Model is biased towards a particular class. The correct answer is C. Model performs exceptionally well on training data. Overfitting occurs when a model learns noise instead of general patterns. Question 6. What is the primary function of a ReLU activation? A. Introduce nonlinearity and prevent vanishing gradients. B. Improve model interpretability. C. Regulate weights during training. D. Reduce the model's bias. The correct answer is A. Introduce nonlinearity and prevent vanishing gradients. RELU introduces nonlinearity and helps in avoiding vanishing gradients. Question 7. Which is the most commonly used deep learning framework? A. TensorFlow. B. Scikit-learn. C. Keras. D. OpenCV. The correct answer is A. TensorFlow. TensorFlow is popular for building and deploying machine learning models. Question 8. What is the purpose of data augmentation in computer vision? A. To decrease training time. B. To improve model generalization. C. To increase the model's capacity. D. To reduce the model complexity. The correct answer is B. To improve model generalization. Data augmentation helps prevent overfitting by increasing data diversity. Question 9. What is the advantage of transfer learning? A. Allows for faster training with fewer data. B. Increases model complexity. C. Improves model explainability. D. Reduces training time but not accuracy. The correct answer is A. Allows for faster training with fewer data. Transfer learning leverages pre-trained models, reducing the need for large data sets. Question 10. What is a typical application of computer vision? A. Self-driving cars. B. Recommendation systems. C. Time series analysis. D. Natural language processing. 
The correct answer is A. Self-driving cars. Computer vision is crucial for enabling autonomous vehicles. Question 11. What is the most common image format for neural networks? A. JPEG. B. PNG. C. GIF. D. BMP. The correct answer is A. JPEG. JPEG is widely used for its balance between quality and size. Question 12. Which of the following is a type of object detection? A. Faster RCNN. B. ResNet. C. VGGNet. D. AlexNet. The correct answer is A. Faster RCNN. Faster RCNN is designed for real time object detection. Question 13. What does an SVM classifier do? A. Classifies based on a hyperplane. B. Uses neural networks for classification. C. Minimizes loss function during training. D. Clusters data into predefined groups. The correct answer is A. Classifies based on a hyperplane. SVM uses a hyperplane to separate different classes in high dimensional space. Question 14. Which activation function is used for multi class classification? A. Sigmoid. B. 10H. C. Relu. D. Softmax. The correct answer is D. Softmax. Softmax is used for multi class classification, providing probability distributions. Question 15. What is image thresholding used for? A. To segment images into regions of interest. B. To enhance image brightness. C. To reduce noise in images. D. To extract edges from images. The correct answer is A. To segment images into regions of interest. Thresholding helps separate objects from the background by intensity. Question 16. Which architecture is known for image classification? A. AlexNet. B. LSTM. C. GAN. D. RNN. The correct answer is A. AlexNet. AlexNet revolutionized image classification using deep convolutional networks. Question 17. What does the term feature extraction refer to? A. Creating new features from raw data. B. Removing irrelevant data points. C. Reducing the number of features in the model. D. Preprocessing input data into useful formats. The correct answer is A. Creating new features from raw data. Feature extraction involves transforming raw data into meaningful representations. Question 18. What is the benefit of using a deep neural network? A. Faster execution times. B. Better ability to learn complex patterns. C. Lower risk of overfitting. D. Easier to train. The correct answer is B. Better ability to learn complex patterns. Deep networks can learn complex features, improving accuracy in complex tasks. Question 19. Which dataset is widely used for image classification tasks? A. CIFAR10. B. MNIST. C. COCO. D. ImageNet. The correct answer is D. ImageNet. ImageNet is a large scale dataset for training image classification models. Question 20. Which of the following is a use of GANs? A. Image generation. B. Image classification. C. Image segmentation. D. Object detection. The correct answer is A. Image generation. GANs are used for generating new, realistic images from random noise. 